Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given this equilateral triangle ABC and a line segment DE intersects the two sides of our triangle ABC and is parallel to the third side BC. We let the length of segment AD to be X, the length of segment DB to be Y, and since our triangle is equilateral, segment BC is also X plus Y. Now since our triangle is an equilateral triangle and segment DE is parallel to segment BC, then angle B must be the same as angle ADE. This triangle at the top is also an equilateral triangle. This is 60 degrees here. This angle is equal to angle C, so this is 60 degrees here. And angle A is equal to itself. Which means that the length of segment AE must also be X. And consequently, the length of segment EC must be Y. The length of this segment DE is the same as the length of segment AD and segment AE because our small triangle here is an equilateral triangle. So we are now looking at this equilateral triangle and this trapezoid at the bottom. What we want to find is what is the ratio of the area of this equilateral triangle to the area of this trapezoid and our figure is not to scale. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. It is given that the perimeter of this equilateral triangle is the same as the perimeter of the trapezoid. And clearly from the figure, the perimeter of our equilateral triangle is 3x because this side is x, this other side is x, and the third side is also x. The sum of the lengths of the side is the perimeter and that is equal to 3x. Now looking at this trapezoid at the bottom, its perimeter would be this x plus y plus x plus y plus y and simplifying the perimeter of the trapezoid is 3y plus 2x. You have this y and this y and this y, that's 3y and you have 2x's. Since these two perimeters are equal, then we now equate 3x is equal to 3y plus 2x and subtracting x from both sides of the equation, we now have x is equal to 3y. Now for the area of the equilateral triangle, let's recall that the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle when we know the length of the side is square root of 3 over 4 times the square of the length of the side. And for our small equilateral triangle here, the length of the side is x. And so, its area therefore is square root of 3 over 4 times x squared, where x is the length of the side. Now for the area of the bigger equilateral triangle, we have square root of 3 over 4 again, but the length of the side would be x plus y. That's why we have here x plus y for the value of a here, and we square it following this formula. We want to find the ratio of the area of this small equilateral triangle to that of this trapezoid. We already know what's the area of this small equilateral triangle that is equal to square root of 3 over 4 x squared. We need to find what is the area of this trapezoid. But notice that we can find the area of the trapezoid by just subtracting from the area of the bigger equilateral triangle, this area of this smaller equilateral triangle. The result would be this yellow trapezoid. So let's perform the subtraction. So the area of the trapezoid is the area of this big equilateral triangle minus the area of this smaller equilateral triangle. And simplifying, we arrive at this result. These are the two areas that we would like to get the ratio of. So let's get now the ratio of these two boxed expressions. Notice here that square root of 3 over 4 and square root of 3 over 4 are the same, so we can cancel them out. And we also have here a square of a binomial. So what's left in the denominator is x squared. Squaring this binomial resulted to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And we copy minus x squared. x squared minus x squared is 0. So finally, this result here is x squared over 2xy plus y squared. Let's recall that x is equal to 3y. So we can now replace this x by 3y to arrive at this. 
So instead of x, we have 3y, copy the exponent 2. We copy the 2. Instead of x, we replace it with 3y, copy the y, and copy the y squared. Simplifying, 3 squared is 9, y squared is y squared. 2 times 3 is 6, y times y is y squared plus y squared. Then 6y squared plus 1y squared is 7y squared. So we arrive at 9y squared over 7y squared. And canceling out y squared, we arrive at a ratio of 9 over 7. So going back to our problem, the ratio of the area of this small equilateral triangle to that of the area of this trapezoid is 9 over 7. And note that our figure is not the scale. And so our final answer is 9 over 7. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video.